Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects quick tip tutorial. And today I wanna to show you how to do some randomized text reveal that's a little bit nicer than you'd normally see. So what I wanna show you in this is not only randomize the text reveal, but also be able to do some secondary animations to it where you can see that it's kind of scaling in and it's blurring in for each letter as it reveals. And how I'm doing this is with text layer animations. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hide this layer and let's start a new one. So just grab a text layer and write anything you want. And let's go into the animation settings. Now, if you haven't ever dived into text animations, it may be a little bit scary at first, but I promise you, you can do lots of cool things with it. So let's go do that now. If we twirl down in here, it's a lot like shape layers. Um, we have this animate menu right there. And what I wanna do is I wanna first animate the opacity. So click on opacity. And what this is going to do is it's going to animate the text popping on one at a time. So if I come in and bring this down to zero, then everything's at zero. But if you see there's a range selector and as I scale across, you can see it's slowly animating on. But I don't want it to be partly transparent in between. I want it to be either there or not there. So let's go down into the advanced and right here on the smoothness, bring that down to zero and then randomize order, turn that on. And we're starting to see what we want, right? But I wanna add a little bit more to this. So that first animator, let's give it a name, just letter on. So that's the one that determines whether the letter is on. So let's also go to the effects and let's go to our expression controls and add a slider. And to this, I want to go and take the start of the range selector, the one that turns everything on, and pick whip it. So just option or alt, click on the stopwatch to that slider. So now I can control that with the slider. The reason why I did that is because I'm also gonna control other things with this slider as well. Now let's, instead of, let's go into the animation and let's add something else. So let's say maybe scale. So it's gonna bring up a new animator. Let's call it something like after effect <laughs> because it's gonna be what effect is applied after it turns on. So let's come in here and let's bring the scale up to like 120. And we're gonna go into the range selector and do pretty much the same settings. But except for the smoothness, we're gonna keep that at 100%. Let's turn random order on. But what we need to do is make sure that these random seeds are the same. Now it's set on zero, but they're really not zero. So we need to give it a number. So I'm gonna give it one on both of these. And then I'll know they're both the same random seed. Now on the second range selector for the after effect, I'm going to, again, pick whip this to that slider, but I'm going to minus one. And so as we slide across, you can see it's going to scale down right after it pops on. And if we make that say minus five, then it's going to scale down a little bit longer. It's gonna give five frames before. So we can do some cool things. Now that we have this set up, the letter on, we're gonna just keep the same. And then the after effect, we can add more to this. So that range selector is already set but all we have to do is right here where it says add, we can click there and we can add more properties. We don't wanna add it to the animate, we wanna to add to this little add button here. So we can come in to say rotation and rotate it a little bit and some blur, blur it a little bit. And position. So now when we slide across, it's gonna be like that. One little um, trick you need to know though is it needs to go over 100% because I set, remember this to minus five on that expression. I need to go to plus five to finish it. So 105% will get to the end. So let's just go in 
keyframe that slider. Remember, this is the expression slider that we stuck on there. Go to the end, which is 105%, and let's watch the animation. So that is a little bit of a different way of doing a random reveal. Now, if you just want to randomly reveal letters the old normal boring way, well, then you know how to do that as well. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.